Happy Monday, folks. We hope you had a great weekend. It's time for Ask the Expert with Rob Sutherland from Pro Broker Agency. I'm Layla Gulen. My first question to you this week, Rob, is how can you care less about unimportant things? Mm, I don't know. So let's just go for a cocktail and we'll forget about it. No, I'm kidding. You know, obviously it's a difficult thing. It's a difficult thing, you know, especially as a business owner, you start letting the small things build up. And everyone always says, don't sweat the small things, but the small things are the details, right? And if you're not focused on details and making sure everything is perfect, something will fall through the cracks. So there is some sort of a balance there. You've got to get in your head and say, look, there are certain things I've got to delegate, let other people care about. And then there's the things that I care about. Right. They say devil's in the details. You're absolutely right. Why, sure. does it, why is a clear head so important for business? Because there's so many moving pieces going on, obviously. Like, let's say you own a real estate or a mortgage office or a title office or something like that, or a small business, you know, just getting up in the morning. How many emails are in your inbox that you've got to deal with and fires that you've got to put out? Then you get to the office and you've got calls and you've got appointments and you've got all this stuff that gets in the way of actually having a little bit of peaceful mind time, right? So I think it's important to take time for yourself during the day, you know? A lot of people used to like smoking cigarettes to take a break. I don't recommend that, but you know, go get some fresh air, stretch, you know, like it, it just can compile on you if you're just sitting there in the rut all day and not really taking care of yourself and taking care of yourself mentally. Exercise helps with that too. Absolutely. And how can people separate business from pleasure? Because I know a lot of times people marry the two. It's hard to separate them. Number one, never hire your friends. I'm a big advocate of this because I've hired all of my friends that needed jobs and had to fire them. So. Don't do that, right? Are you I'm still kidding. friends with them? I don't care. But anyways, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, right? And especially in the real estate industry, you know, a lot of people like, you know, they come in and they're friends with somebody and like that is the basis of the relationship. And they think that that's gonna really nurture uh, part of the relationship. And I think if you start as business together, then you can be friends afterwards. But if you start as friends and then become business, it's gonna be a recipe for disaster. So stay away from that. Don't work with your friends, don't hire your friends but turn business associates into people that are closer to you, into your inner circle, and then you'll have a happier work balance life. Yeah, and, and a strong team. Yes, and a very strong team as well. All right, well, very insightful, Rob, as always. For more information on PBA, just click on the link below, probrokeragency.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again on Friday for another episode of Ask the Expert with Rob Sutherland. Go out for a walk, take a break. Don't sweat the small things.